They up and coming, man. The view, the view. Y'all got a chance, you know, subscribe to them, man. Positive energy. What up, what up, what up, what up with it? It's your boy, P.E. to the P.E. Positive Energy, a.k.a. Bud Butt, a.k.a. H.I., a.k.a. Pep A. Bliff. Y'all know what it man is, man. It's all about that peace. That positive energy assuring constant elevation. Constantly elevating over here, moving and grooving and doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So, man, uh, when I very first started making these videos, this was what it was about, man. It was about leading up to this particular week. It is here, man. This the week we waiting all year, every year for. Where tensions is at all time high. Everybody is on a fever pitch. And y'all don't know what I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about here in Ohio and across the world. Don't know high school football rivalry. Get no bigger than Canton McKinley and the Mastodon Tigers. You know what I'm saying? It just don't get no bigger. You go to Vegas. Go to the Vegas bookies right now. And you're going to have the only high school on the on the line that you can bet for in the country. It's this one here, man. The 100th meeting was covered by Sports Illustrated. My cousin, the coach of the linebackers for Kent McKinley right now, Frank McLeod, boo man, coach, boo, played in the 100 meeting. The rivalry is intense. You got the number one all-time football wins in Ohio history in Maslin, Washington, versus the number two all-time in high school football wins in Canton McKinley Bulldogs. It just, it just, man, this goes back to that. And this rivalry goes back to the 1800s, man. Stop playing with me, man. This is a century-long beef. Eight miles apart. And not only do you have a rivalry, what other rivalry will you have the two top teams in the state all time within eight miles of each other? Both teams will sleep in their own beds the night before the game. You know what I'm saying? Where else you gonna get a rivalry with two top ten teams nationally are within eight miles of each other? I'ma say it again. Before the game, they both will sleep in their home beds. They will practice this game at their home fields. The day before the game, all that leading up will be at your home stadium. You don't have to travel. You don't have to do none of that for this game. And you can fuck and you can face one of the top fucking programs in the country. Then which side you facing on, what what other side you stand on, you standing on the side of one of the greatest programs in the country. Facts. Facts. And we just going to keep it on football because, you know, y'all really ain't compared to us because we do this in basketball, too. Same thing I'm preaching about us in football. I can preach a little bit harder for us in basketball because we number one in basketball. Where y'all at in football? Massa and basketball. Huh? Huh? Y'all in the top ten in the state of Ohio all time in basketball? Y'all never want to talk about basketball. Y'all want to keep it to this football. But we do this football, too. We can keep it there right now because y'all don't want to take it nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? You already know what it is. Like I said, and I'm going to keep saying, it's McKinley versus Stark County. Everybody in the county is against us. I don't care if you went to Timken. I don't care if you went to Geno, Canton South, Perry, Jackson, North Canton, Lake, 
motherfucking anywhere in the county. Alliance, all of them against McKinley. Everybody want us to go down. Everybody want the, the hood niggas to go down. Let's keep it like, let's keep it thuggish like it what it is. Everybody want to see the hood fall. Nobody want to see them hood brothers out there balling and getting their grind. Let's keep it a hundred. So the inner city schools is getting dogged by everybody. All the suburban schools, all of them want to see us lose. All of them. And even the refs is going to be against us. Y'all know it now. Y'all know it now the refs is going to be against us. They always is. We always got to fight. Just like last week in Perry when we go to these suburban schools, we got to fight the team and the refs. They'll try to take it from us all the time. That's what makes us that much of a dog. Because we got the dog in us against all odds. We're going to fight. Because that's what dogs do. You know what I'm saying? Talking about out here, man. These boys got me hyped this week, man. It's about to go down, man. You know what I mean? Everybody hating against us. Let them hate. You know what I'm saying? But these boys about to show these boys, man. I got faith in these motherfucking dogs because they've been grinding all season. I got faith in Coach Marcus Watley. He's been grinding all season, showing us and building these young men, young boys into men. You know what I'm saying? And they growing. And they becoming men. They coming to the full-fledged dogs. When he got them, they was puppies. Now they full-grown dogs ready to bite something. Anything orange and black getting eat up. All week. I don't want no orange juice. No orange slices. Nothing. If I was in the county, I'd be out here naked all week. Put me in a red jumpsuit. Because I don't want nothing orange. I'm a flight risk. You know what I mean? Let's keep it thuggish out here, man. Let's go, dogs. Y'all already know what time it is. Lemire Gear, Elijah Wesley, Xavier Black, Manny Powell, Let's go. It's time. Hey, Coach Boo, get these men ready. Because I'm tired of these mugs over here. It's time to get green. Man, it's P to the P. Positive energy. It ain't going to be no peace till we pick them in pieces. It's a dog day afternoon, and we're ready to get it. Let's go. All about the positive energy and the culture and pushing the culture forward in a positive direction. They up and coming, man. The music, you, y'all got a chance, you know, subscribe to them, man. Positive energy.